Okay, in this portion of the video on the body swap, this is what I'm going to address. Uh, you want your fender to fit the way it should fit on your 67 Ford Mustang. Well, the fender slides in right here and has a partition on the inside. It's, it strengthens the inside of the fender. Well, on my car, I want to keep that. So we've cut this inner frame section down. Uh, everywhere where there's a, a piece in here, just like this right here, like right there, right there, I'm gonna make measurements and I'm, on, I'm gonna drill a hole into my piece of metal in my plate and I'm gonna weld inside there as well so that I can get those inner structures uh, supports also welded to my plate. I've cut this right here down a little bit more with this little death wheel. And you can see it's a lot straighter with the body now. I've still gotta cut this inside piece here. I'll cut it on both sides. And going over here, you can see the inside of the rocker. I've welded all the way down it, that 16 gauge steel. I've welded that inner rocker section up there in the kick panel. And all the way down through here, I've welded all the way down. And I'm gonna build a little plate to go inside here. So all that right there is pretty much buttoned up. I've just put a little tack weld on each side here because I'm gonna take this panel back off I'm gonna build all this right here in with metal so that I don't have to weld this up. I wanna be able to have this functioning to where it works just like the factory, bringing air in and then down in there to my box right there. So I want that to be functioning to bring in outside air when I hit the recirc button or uh, fresh air to recirc. And so I'll be able to cut that back off. But once I get these plates right here welded in that I've been talking about the past two days, I will take this panel right here back off and then that'll make sure that this body on the top does not move because it's going to be angled right here in and bend straight down this. Okay, I've got my bubble right there where it needs to be. I'm level all the way down this panel here and all the way up. I've already cut it out so now it's time to go in there. I'm going to make a plate on my template uh, that I've cut off, sit it on my 16 gauge and then sit it on here, line it all up, tag it into place and grind it all down smooth. Okay, now I've got both sides cut down all the way down through there. They're all cut down, so now it's time to plate this entire piece right here all the way to the A-pillar. All right, now starting to get a little more interesting here. I've got my cardboard uh, paper template cut out here. It's sitting on the car exactly where it needs to see it. Of course, it'll be welded all along through here and then holes drilled through there and then welded in. Um, I'll be plating a plate, little bitty plate piece right through here to cover up this little section here to mold both sides. And I'm going to test fit this onto the other side. It should be the same, but we don't know. We'll see. It should be the same. And then I'm going to cut out two of these right here, and then we'll plate that in. So there's what you can kind of see from there. I've checked my template on this side as well, and it seems to fit. So now it's time to cut two of these out. And here it is sitting on the car. I've got this one cut out. I've got both of them cut out. I've just got it sitting on. Of course, once it's pushed up against there, be able to weld it all the way down a little crease, all the way down there, and then box in that little edge, and then this front structure will be done. We're in here watching Ken dig it. He's in here working on crap. Well, we're working on crap. Okay, now I've drilled my hose right in there. You can see I've got that the hose drilled right there where all the supports are. So I'll be able to attach this panel to those inner supports as well. Now it's just time. I've got it all buttoned up and the hose drilled. It's time to go ahead and weld it on there. All the inside of the panel has already been blacked out, so no issues with any rust. Now we're just gonna go ahead and get it on there. Here you can see it welded on the car. I've welded it solid all the way down it. Now on here, I've still got to do some fab work up here. I'm going to take this right here and put a plate on top of that that attaches to this and go all the way from here flat and then weld this right here, all this right here solid. So underneath the cowl, it'll have a, a layer under the cowl. So, and all this right here, I'll weld that solid all the way up. Step back a little bit so you can get a better look. I've still got to grind up underneath here and clean that up a little bit better. But I'm going to weld it solid just like I did on the top right there on the bottom. And then going on this inside 
that's the piece that was from the factory. I cut it. I cut a little more up right here and down at an angle. I'm gonna plate. Everything up here will be plated all the way to that piece right up here. So this panel right here and that panel on the inside will be two separate panels. And I won't have any issue with any wind getting in the vehicle or any water or anything like that. And going here, up under the cow section, okay, right here, I'm gonna have my wipers. I'm gonna build, put a piece of steel, go all the way along that inside piece. This is just to give an example, and it will be welded from this inside piece here up to where my windshield post is. And it'll be welded all the way down. And right here where my wipers is, the distance between the wiper and my piece of steel, I will put the factory wiper in that location and bolt it up on both sides. And then after I get the pieces bolted up, that's when I'm gonna figure out exactly where I need to put my links. Now that I have the top welded in, I've cut this straight with this right here. I've cut it all the way across to my inner cow section. I've used my square to make sure that it's perfect. Now I'm just gonna cut me a piece that's gonna go from right there all the way back to the underside of this right here, all the way over to this, all the way around, and I'm gonna cut it all the way to this. Okay, I've made my little template. That will sit right on there just like that. And I've made this little piece to cover up that little area there, go down to weld solid so that all this will be boxed in. And here it is in reality. So it just slid right back into place just like we want it. And then I'll straighten that edge up and then fold that right there down. So now let's see it tacked into place. And here it is welded in. So now with it welded solid all the way through here, It'll be welded solid all along underneath this panel and all along this side support and this cow. That gives this body a whole, whole lot of strength. But that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up, go to the house, take a break. Thank you guys all who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to get this car knocked out. Um, got a, one more day left where I gotta kick back, go back to work so my weekend be over. But I've got a lot done on the car. I'm happy with what I've done on this car. So go ahead, check out the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you have it. And I'll catch you on the next video.